folks, over the last four or five weeks or so, I have started to use a technology called vidIQ. You can think of this as artificial intelligence for my YouTube channel. It's helping me pick better titles. It's helping me with keywords. It's actually giving me topic ideas. But what it is clearly showing me in the next in the last four weeks is artificial intelligence is wanting to feed you distracting information. I call it the matrix. Over the last four weeks or so, this artificial intelligence platform has told me to create content around public figures like Andrew Tate, which I will never do. It's not my area. I think it's distracting. But it is clear that the audience wants to hear about someone who will do nothing for your business. This is a real estate channel. The fact that my viewers are clicking on videos about Andrew Tate and I should create a video around Andrew Tate is the matrix. The matrix is killing your dreams slowly. You are wasting time where you could be looking at your market on nonsense that means nothing to you and your family. The matrix has you. Stop it. Just stop. Anna, what do you think of all that? I I am just I'm cracking up. It is so funny. Um, I agree with you. And it's funny because this morning I was on Facebook. I go on so that I can post my daily news, right? So I went right. on Facebook and I saw a post of a realtor who had a blog post completely written by AI. And as I read this post to see how good could this thing be. I thought this was actually pretty good. And for a second, I thought I need to check into that. And then I went, no, if I check into that, I'm going to have hours of my time. This was literally this morning and you and I haven't talked about this. I'm going to have hours of my time wasted on a robot writing something that I'm going to critique. And it doesn't have the, the knowledge of all the things that we need to know from experience and putting two and two together to say, does is this really the kind of article that's helpful? Well, no, because anything super complicated in real time is going to take a long time for AI to catch up. But I literally caught myself saying, oh, a new thing. Let's go look at that. And then I had to go, no, I, I have so many things to do. That's like going to just distract me and take away my time. So it's funny, the timing of this conversation, because I feel the exact same, the exact same way. And, and then you and mentioned it, Andrew Tate. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to add to the funniness of this. Okay. So my son, one of my sons, a much younger son, um, says, hey, mom, I want a sweatshirt for Christmas. I'm like, okay, fine. So he gets a sweatshirt and it had a little phrase on it. Had It didn't sound bad to me. So I was like, sure, you can get it. So then I get the sweatshirt and I was like, what does this phrase come from? And my oldest one's like, you bought him an Andrew Tate sweatshirt? I'm oh. like, oh no, I've heard of him. I know he's not, I know nothing, no yeah. good. Like send it back, you know? Um, but yes, people are into Andrew Tate for good or for bad or for whatever he yeah. is. But connecting that to real estate through through AI, it's it's shocking. It's yeah. crazy. We are in a crazy matrix world for sure. But again, I, I want people to realize, right? So you come to my channel because of real estate investing, financial education. You want to stay on top of economic news. For artificial intelligence to scan my subscribers and my viewers and say one of the top 50 videos I should create, it was actually number two. Number one was Housing Bubble. Number two was Andrew Tate. That is the matrix. And again, what I want people to hear is the matrix, artificial intelligence, it is giving you what you click on. Yes. You yes. clicked on it. You did that. And I yes. want to take some ownership. One of the things I've tried to do in the last two weeks, maybe month or so, was be more active on Twitter. My handle is one rental at a time. And I found over the last two weeks or so, I was getting annoyed because a lot of my interactions are with crash bros. What I, I don't have, even know what that is. A, a crash bro is just somebody who says the market's crashing and the world's over. And, you know, oh, whatever. okay. It's my, it's my loving term for idiots, crash bros. Um, but what happened is on Twitter, I was trying to defend positions from these crash bro idiots. Mm -hmm. And as my confidence in the housing crash being over, my interactions with them escalated. But I did that. I chose to respond. So it yes. was feeding me more idiots. 
over the yes. last three days, I have stopped reacting to idiots. And suddenly my feed is much better. So again, yes. the matrix can get a hold of you. It got a hold of me. Um, but again, it could be Kim Kardashian. It could be um, Kanye West. It could be uh, it right. could be Bill Gates. It could be Fauci. It could be any of these people. They mean nothing to learning your market, nothing about your buy box, nothing about rent, nothing about make ready. Stop letting the matrix. Again, the matrix is killing your dream slowly. Every Absolutely. 30 minutes, hour you waste on nonsense, like all of those people I just mentioned, you're losing. The matrix is winning. Don't let the matrix win. Block that stuff. Don't click on the AI article. Don't click on crash bro idiots who, do, who don't own anything and live in their mom's basement. Just don't do it. It'll stop feeding you that. AI is trying to get yeah. you to react. So just absolutely. You're, you're the product. I, I forget what the show's called, but I watched a, a Netflix show when I was at the beach that was about a social, the social experiment and how you are the product on social media websites, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And the more you click and like, the more you get fed. And so they really can skew your views on certain things. So that's a big deal in and of itself. But the second thing to your point that I think is really important is that the value of our time is more important truly than the value of our money. And when I was starting out, uh, you know, rebuilding after 2009, we gave up cable completely. And all I really watched on cable was news and HGTV, all the flip this house kind of shows, but we gave it up. And it was at that time I was doing it as a cost cutting measure, but I realized in 10 years of not having cable, I was able to accomplish so much because I wasn't distracted by wasting time, right? We can do three things with time. We can invest it, we can spend it, or we can waste it. If you're clicking on a bunch of stuff on social media all day long, you are wasting valuable time that you could be making thousands of dollars an hour on your time by doing those deals. And so value your time as much as you do your money. And it is amazing how far you can go when you've got an extra hour or two a day back. Most people spend a couple hours a day on social media or television and then say you don't have any time to invest. So invest yeah. that time back. Quit being a product. Quit being sucked in by, you know, social and the matrix and all this experiment and use that time to go after your dreams. Right. Yeah. Do a podcast or two a day, um, you know, read some scripture, read something that's motivating to you and then just do work and, and let all that stuff go. You'll be amazed at how much you can do in a day. Yeah, I, I can't tell you how many people over the years have just told me they don't have time. And again, I think you're absolutely right. The Matrix is getting these people. They just conjure up the latest person you have to know about. In my world, Andrew, I have never heard of the guy until like the last six or eight weeks. And yeah. now to have him be the second most common topic that my subscribers click on makes me sick. It just does. Yeah. I mean, then it, it could be this. It could be that. It, it'll be somebody else in two months. But right. it is all wasting your time. All of you tell me, Michael, I don't have 20 minutes a day. I don't have it. Yeah, you do. Stop yeah, letting the Matrix do. win. The Matrix is killing your dreams slowly, and you don't even know it. It is so sad. Anna, where can people find you? You can find me here every weekend on my playlist. You can find me on social media at Anna Kelly, REI Mom, and my website, REIMom.com. Thank you so much.